Hello friends, my name is Jitendra Bhapna. Today we will going to see how to implement Okta OAuth using Mule JWT validation policy for the Mules of Cloud Hub application. So in last of some in some last of the video we have used AWS Cognito instead of Okta. But in this video we will see how we can use Okta. But let's see like uh, how it works. So like uh, we will going we will be going through this. Uh, uh, client credential flow so where like client will send uh, like uh, request to the authorization server on the token URL to generate the token so it will be returning uh, returning as a JWT token and like then we can send that actual JWT token in the authorization header and the resource server will validate the JWT token using the JWKS URI and it will validate it and once uh, successfully validated it will like a resource server will return a data to a client in case of any failure or anything it will say invalid token okay let's see JWT policy what is JWT policy see JWT policy or what is JWT it's a JSON web token which is basically used to transfer or transfer a claim between the two part parties so basically it validate the claims between the two party and like uh, it's a very lightweight token so it can be easily you know uh, transfer over the network so it will not consume lot of bandwidth it is less than 1 KB okay and like you need to take like we will see all this parameter JWT origin token expression what is JWT signing method what is JWT key and all such kind of parameters available in JWT validation policy you will see it the first thing we will go into Okta so basically you can sign up for free Okta developer account so it's a free account so okay once you sign up it will give one URL it will one uh, it will give you a domain URL for and you can use that URL to get login into Okta once you login into Okta you will see the like screen like this okay then you can go to application first thing we need to create an application to generate client ID at the client secret because let's see if you see in the flow we need to send the client ID and the client secret uh, to the authorization server and authorization server URL or token URL okay so let's create add application web next and you can give like uh, I can say my mule JWT keep all your we don't require this URL we don't require login or keep as it is but we will use the client credential flow so click on client credentials now say done once it's done, it will generate a client ID and the client secret at the end. Copy this, the client ID and the client secret on the notepad. Then copy this client secret on the notepad. We will be requiring this. Now, so basically the other thing uh, like uh, we require some authorization server. Okay, where like from where we will using the token URL to, vali to validate client ID and the client secret and to get the token JW token back so we have by default authorization server provided by Okta so this is my default authorization server you can go to click on this default and click on this this is very important this provide the metadata basically it provide all the URL which you require like uh, uh, authorization, authorization URL a token endpoint URL this is the JWKS URL which is very important to validate the token okay copy this URL and hit on the browser so it will give all the like what are the algorithm use what is the key you know this key will be used to validate the token which is generated and like it is using RSA 256 okay now we have done this thing now we have to uh, like either you can use that any default add scope or I will add one scope mule scope mule scope I will say include in metadata create okay so these are the settings you need to do into the Okta now next thing I will if I go to runtime manager I have already one application deployed there so there is no policy nothing applied on that it's an application when I send a request so it's giving me direct like I haven't set up any authentication anything okay now I want to set up some authentication on it so for that what I can do I can go to API manager so you can apply the policy on the from API manager 
and I have already API deployed in API manager okay I can go to policy and I, I can apply some new policy I can use JWT validation policy and configure policy here like uh, yeah I want to send the authorization token or authorization token into the header yes RSA 256 so you can see it here it's using RSA 256 RSA 256 so that is the algorithm yes I don't want to use text if you want to use the text so you can copy this you know this one this text uh, this complete text and paste it there but I don't want to I will instead of that I will use JWKS URL JWKS URL and like you know control V skip client validation I don't want to just do any skip uh, any client validation and you just keep everything as default this is very important thing and the algorithms so either you can use the text you copy the text from here or like you can paste the URL that is JWKS URL which we got from the metadata and you just apply the policy so like let's wait it will take around 45 seconds for policy to, to get reflect on the application it's okay the policy has been applied it's saying invalid token now you need to generate a token so you can go to postman into authorization section select authorization to say get new access token now you have to provide the access token URL how can you get it from the metadata so this is my token endpoint copy this okay and go to postman now say client ID in the client secret copy the client ID in client secret okay and the scope which we have defined in the octa that is mule scope now just request a token so it will give the token copy this token okay also click on use token once you click on use token it will come here it will reflect here and if you go to authorization header you can see it here okay so in, like it get automatically added to your header okay but like I have copied the token so you can go to www.jwt.io copy this one minute uh, www.jwt okay you can go to jwt.io and like paste your token here so you that it will get decode the token so basically it contain three part header payload and the signature okay and like it also contain what is the scope you know what is the client ID that CID means client ID expiry date of your token curated date of a token such kind of things like what is the issuer URL of your authorization server such kind of thing it's contained it also contain key used for you know encrypt the token and like what is the algorithm has been used so this is the complete token has been created now again I will say get new access token request token use token I will say send so now I got authenticated and the 200 okay if I play with token I put some invalid data it will say invalid token generate new token again use token send so this okay I hope you understand like this is how you know we can use octa oauth to octa oauth to enable a JWT validation policy on your cloud hub application thanks for watching video